Harvard's researchers believe that they can reverse DNA aging. Well, at least they've proven that they can reverse DNA aging in mice and soon they will be testing this method on humans and it's a pretty big deal. So they focused on an intriguing compound with anti-aging properties called NAD+. It's been known that younger mice had more of it than older mice. And back in 2013, the researchers found that when they boosted the NAD plus levels in older mice, they looked biologically like much younger animals. Bananas. In fact, they couldn't even differentiate between the older mice and the younger mice after they started giving the older mice this compound, okay? So Sinclair, that's actually Dr. David Sinclair from Harvard, put drops of NAD plus into the water of a group of mice and within a couple of hours, their NAD plus levels started to rise. Within the first week, the scientists saw obvious age reversal in muscle and improvements in DNA repair. That's it, we're done. We're done. This We're is, done. This is the most important story that we have ever covered. Okay, <laughs> nothing else matters. I'm not. I agree with her. This is freaking <laughs> phenomenal, and I'm super excited. I want to get my hands on NAD Plus immediately. I'm looking at Jenks notes, and legit, it's the, it's highlighted through and through. The entire <laughs> article is highlighted. I was like, damn, dude, like you didn't have this level okay. of detail. <laughs> I don't know if you can see all the highlights, but no, because I got excited. I'm not. I'm not messing around with NAD Plus. That's that stuff's happening. Okay. <laughs> look, you still so, gotta stop eating though if you yeah, want to remain no, healthy, regardless of how young you. Not necessarily. Man, I'm gonna get that NAD plus, <laughs> everything's gonna be okay. All right. So let me quote Dr. David Sinclair again, last graphic here. He said, we can't tell the difference between the tissues from an old mouse <laughs> that is two years old versus a young mouse that is three to four months old, okay? Yeah. So good night, Irene, okay, or no good nights. So we just get younger and younger and younger. Hit me with that NAD plus. And the best part <laughs> is that you don't have to do anything invasive. Like you just have to consume it. If they look, if they do the tests on humans, which they plan on doing, they're gonna do the first test on 25 humans to see whether or not it has the same impact on them like it has on the mice. Um, but like the mice just drank that shit up, you know? They're like they're not. They don't have to like do anything crazy. No implants. No injecting anything. Like they just they they ingested it. it like we would just have to ingest it. Yeah. Like it's the magic pill. And it's also found. It's the it's a compound found in micro doses in broccoli, yes. avocado, cucumbers, things that I eat a lot actually. But uh, what I was gonna oh, say it's is it's not working on you. What? Uh, oh, wow! I'm wow! I'm do you hear that? Oh, oh wow! Okay, here's, what what say, here's what I was gonna say. Here's what I was gonna say. Is no one else terrified by this? This is every plot point to every zombie movie. Ever. No, I'm not terrified. Like this is exactly no. how zombie movies start. Not to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but black helicopters. Uh, zombies, I'm glad that they're doing it. The the metro, the metro biotech is in Boston, so at least it'll be contained in that area. Because it's just what makes you, you think know. it'll be and contained something there? you and I. Uh, I'm assuming death that becomes that, her. Remember that mm -hmm. death becomes her. 25 the movie people about are going to turn into zombies. They're gonna be missing. But luckily, because it's in the Boston area, they'll handle it quickly because. Everyone knows Bostonians are very aggressive, especially around like uh, football season or- Okay, yeah. hold on, Let, I let's just get back to the story real quick. So um, look, the way that we age is DNA copies itself, right? And sometimes when it copies itself, it'll copy a, a not so perfect version. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what kind of leads to aging. That's an overly simplistic way of describing it. And essentially what happens is your body needs these DNA uh, repair compounds in order to repair itself in, in a more effective way, in a better way, in a more perfect way, I guess. That's what prevents the aging. So that's what this is. The NAD plus is a DNA repair compound. Now with humans, the repair compound is called something a little different um, and I can't pronounce it, but the short version is uh, NMN. It's a naturally occurring compound found in small amounts in foods like broccoli, cucumber, avocado, and edamame. I just wanna note for the record, I am an avid fan of avocado toast. Yeah, I eat a lot too. of it. <laughs> and I, and I feel so vindicated right now. Oh um, can God! I, can I just say one thing? Like, can y'all check to see if y'all can cure the rats from cancer? Like, yeah. why are we so preoccupied with youth in America? You gonna walk around with an old soul? It doesn't matter no, if your but, face doesn't move. It's okay to get older. Why are we so preoccupied no, I, with not getting older? It's okay. Great Tell point, that great to Larry point. King. It is so much pressure on women all the time with this. Stop it! All. We can be investing but this it's time. But it's not just about. Time. It's not just about 
looks, which I will admit that's the part of this that I care about the most. But it's not just <laughs> about that because it, it helps rebuild healthy tissue, right? right? And also you brought up cancer and I'm glad that you did because this could have uh, huge benefits for cancer patients. So um, apparently, okay, so scientists have harnessed this to target cancer cells, a class of cancer drugs called uh, PARP inhibitors, which are prescribed for breast cancer inter interfere with PARP's ability to repair DNA in, in, in the tumor, which ultimately leads to their demise. Um, but not all people who take the drug respond well to it. And manipulating NAD plus levels may be one way to enhance their response. Yeah. So it could help cancer patients okay. as well. So l l let me try to explain again, all, of course, all this is a little oversimplistic. But so uh, NAD plus, uh, when their levels are high, then PARP, PARP1 is activated and can repair the DNA. Okay, now in the case of cancer, you don't want to repair the DNA of the cancer cells. So they actually lower the, the PARP and then it, that winds up killing the cancer. Right. In the case of reviving your youth, you want the PARP to be high you, and so and you want NAD plus levels to be, because when NAD plus levels are high, then PARP1 is activate, activated and then your DNA heals and right. you become younger. So the bottom line is we're not gonna die. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what? So I'm not playing, okay? <laughs> now, so now let me get real. I know it sounds a little like the zombie thing that uh, Haas was talking about, but and I'm not saying that you, you can't. If you got a car accident, you get a car accident, you're dead, okay? Of course, right? And this doesn't magically undead you, <laughs> okay? So you're not actually gonna have zombies, but. See, Look, we well, are going to have every time, every time in every <laughs> single movie. Yeah, but so let me talk about how it's going to be real. Though. Okay, okay. So we are going, we're on the edge of scientific breakthroughs that are going to change the entire world. So the the problem, uh, the number one problem is I talk about all the time on the show, whether it's politics or anything else, is people cannot see outside of their own perspective, and in our lifetimes. All we've ever seen is this, you know, you age, you get older, you can't manipulate your genes, etc. But we're about to manipulate the genes. We're about to manipulate the DNA. So it is going to affect people that are alive. It's going to affect babies even more because we can change the DNA within the womb. That is now borderline easy. Right. So you I've been talking about this for a long time and you think I'm playing or I'm exaggerating. I'm not. There are going to be super babies. They are going to have slightly different genes than us. They could be stronger. It's possible they could be smarter. And so now you're talking about real science fiction movies, but it ain't fiction anymore. And so and now it's the science has advanced so much that you might be able to manipulate genes of a person who's already alive to cure them of things. And including growing back limbs. And that's when we can't understand it. It's not inside our perspective. We think that can't be true, right? And so when we look at this stuff and you think, no, you're exaggerating, it can't really make you younger. It already made the mice younger, it already happened. And they're testing it in humans, not 48 years from now, not 88 years from now, not in a brave new world, today. So now it doesn't mean that it's gonna happen in like 18 months and all of a sudden we're all immortal, right? I also wanna bring down your expectations. Of course, this, this is dangerous stuff and important stuff. They're gonna do a ton of testing before they go like, hey, everybody, an ad plus for everybody. And yes, we're oversimplifying. All those things are true. But our world, if not for our generation, definitely for our kids' generations, is gonna be completely different. Once we start messing around with the genes, all bets are off. Yeah. For the good and probably also for the bad. Young Turks now has over 6 billion lifetime views. You know who did that? You did that. We're now larger than CNN, ABC, you name a news network online, we're larger than them. And you built all that as everyone scoffed and didn't believe. And here we are guys, thanks to you. Build independent media together with us at tytnetwork.com slash join.